स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट वन बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन जोमेट्री टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन जोमेट्री फर्स्ट बेसिक कंसेप्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट मीन a tiny dot a tiny dot drawn by very fine tip on the paper or blackboard it is called point now we draw the point on blackboard like this and write the name by the help of a capital letter alphabet letter a b c etc we read this as point a point b point c we can use a pen or pencil to make the dot on paper sheet a point can be given a name as well as a capital letter of alphabet are used to name a point the example of points we use the pen and make a dot on paper sheet we got the figure it is called point now second basic concept in geometry is line countless point join in a one row we got the figure it is called line other words take two points a and b on a paper sheet and join them using a ruler we get the figure on a paper it is called line some importance note about line one line is the infinite both side second an arrow head is drawn to show that the line is infinite both direction third line can by line can be given a name four capital letters of the alphabet are used to name of a line and fifth line is the collection of points we use two capital letters to given the name of line and we can read as line ab or line ba now third basic concept line segment the part of line between two points it is called line segment some important points about line segment first line segment has two point showing its limits second that points called end points third line segment is the collection of points four capital letters of alphabet are used to name a line segment fifth 
its name can be written as segment AB or segment B. The example of line segment is a two bar as well as the ruler in your compass box. The next concept of geometry is ray. Ray means a line start from a point and go forward continuously in a one direction. Some important notes about ray. First, ray is a part of line. Second, it starts at one point called its origin point. And third, arrowheads is show that the ray is infinite in the one side. Four, ray is the collection of points. And fifth, it can be read as ray AB. Start from A. Do not read as Ray BA. The example of ray is sun ray and the light emits from torch. After that, others basic concept of geometry is plane. The flat unlimited infants surface is called plane. Some important note about planes. One, plane is the collection of points. Plane extend infinitely in all direction. Third, write the name of planes by one letters as well as four liters and read as if we use one letters plane A and if we use four letters plane A B C D. The example of plane the surface of blackboard the wall. Now we learn about parallel lines. Line which is lie in the same plane but do not cross each other. It is called parallel line. And other concept is intersecting line. The line which are cross each other, it is called intersecting line. Parallel line, the example of parallel line, the railway track and the intersecting line example is the two roads cross each other. Now we learn about collinear points. Three or more points which lie on a single straight line are said to be collinear points. In this figure, point A, point B, point C, point D on a single straight line. So, this point called collinear point. Now another figure, their point A, point B, point C, point D, not on a single straight line. So it is called non-collinear points. So definition of 
non collinear points points which do not lie on the same line are called non collinear points example of collinear points the boy is walk in a straight line at the time of marching and the example of non collinear points we saw the constellation in the sky an infinite number of lines can be drawn throughout one point when two or more lines pass throughout the same points they are called concurrent lines and the common point throughout which they pass is called their points of concurrence 